three-point game under three minutes to play. Clark. Oh, good move. And they finished with the right hand on that one. We've seen that. Uh, folks know you, you can play this one either way right now. No question. And the key thing for MLC Floyd Valley is get good shots on each possession. And make sure to get shots. Don't turn the ball over at this point. Baumgart is a great pass to Skipper. <laughs> if the Skipper's got it, that's a good shot by definition, I think. Falcons with under a minute to go. De Young to the baseline. To the hoop. High off the glass. Beautiful move. First field goal of the game for Dale DeYoung comes with 40. Found a way to get it done. DeYoung. 28 seconds left. MLC Floyd Valley down three. They go for the two and Baumgars connects. It's a one-point game. Tough shot for Kurt Baumgars. Baumgars. Probably your likely candidate. And, and uh, that's not a very good option, John. It, you know, at, at almost 60%, that just shows DeYoung fires a long three and got it! He got it! from about 24 feet. Dale DeYoung hits his first three of the game. And we are tied with 6.6 seconds to go. What a shot. And Dale DeYoung with a big, big shot. Starkweather setting the pick, just creating a little bit of a crease. But what an effort. Double pump hanging in the air. from MOC Floyd Valley, Dale DeYoung. From Creston, Dane Wardenberg. Farm Bureau and the school judged to have the best sportsmanship in Class 3A.
KMAG 14 Sports with Travis Morgan starts now. Welcome back. Our Athlete of the Week is back, and this week we head to Orange City, home of the Dutchman of MOC Floyd Valley. KMAG 14's John Sears gives us a look at Dale DeYoung, the super smooth lefty who's, an, who's as competitive as it gets. Six foot one, 170 pounds, all heart. Meet Dale DeYoung, the sweet stroke and lefty from MOC Floyd Valley, our KMEG 14 Hardy's Athlete of the Week. DeYoung fires a long three and got it! He got it! Double clutch and got it for three from about 24 feet! Dale hit that shot. The bench went crazy. The crowd went crazy. It was loud. You know, we were going into overtime and it was, it was wild. <laughs> I really didn't think of that big of a shot since we lost. It's kind of hard for me to say if it was always a big shot, but just the loss still kind of still kind of stings a little bit. I don't know. While the loss stings, there's a competitive fire that burns in Dale DeYoung that can only be described as a hard worker. Um, I, I've never seen someone work harder on the game of basketball than Dale. I hate losing. Well, I know he'd trade uh, any point that he scored for the state championship. I'm pretty passionate. When I get out there, I get pretty intense, and I hate losing. That's why that loss hurts pretty much. One thing's for sure, that sweet stroke didn't just happen overnight. When Dale was uh, four years old, he was on the driveway, and he had that passion. I want to figure out the best possible way for my team to win. And if that's me shooting it, or if that's me passing it, or if that's me trying to um, direct attention off other players for them to score, whatever, I'll do whatever I can. Dale departs with a group of seniors that, on the court... I, I know there were teams that had more talent physically, but I, I can't believe there was anybody that had more heart. All heart. In Orange City, John Sears, KMEG 14 Sports. And Dale says he plans on continuing his basketball career next year in college at either Hope College or just down the street at Northwestern. Well, what started at 64 is down to just 16. Welcome home, Dutch. Welcome home, Dutch. Welcome home, Dutch. Welcome home, Dutch. Welcome home, Dutch.
To the young kids that are here today, I want to encourage each and every one of you young boys and girls to go pursue your dreams and your passions. And uh, to do so, as Clay Young talked about, uh, really investing in the people around you as you go for it. I can tell you that if you do such a thing, um, the rewards are incredible and the memories are outstanding. Um, as I wrap things up, I'd just like to say um, thank you especially to our God and Father in Heaven who has blessed us in this community with an incredible uh, group of people. And it's my prayer for these guys right here that they would live each day the rest of their life in the same manner that they play. Selfless, unified, mentally strong, and living for that higher cause. In closing, would you pray with me? Dear Lord, I want to thank you for the wonderful season that you gave to us, the wonderful memories that we can take with us for the rest of our lives. God, I, I ask that everything we did this year was glorified to you and that through it all you were praised. In your name.